XRP, XRP, XRP. The Bulls are getting ready to run out the gates, family. Can't you feel it? Hi, Vibe Assets. Welcome back to today's show. I got a good one for you today. You know every time that you click on this channel, the content is going to be bullish. Go ahead and give me a follow on my Twitter page at High Vibe Assets. Without further ado, let's go ahead and kick off today's show. Those of you who don't know, this the next gen hundred dollar note is the last denomination of that uh, particular family of notes. We are working on the future generation of currency. So that is my other job. I think the train's already left the station in terms of cryptocurrency. Uh, you may or may not know that I just joined the board of Ripple, and the reason why I chose to to join that board is. In my opinion, one of the few cryptocurrency options out there that has a credible and legitimate use. So financial institutions use it to settle cross-border payments. That is called a bridge crypto or bridge currency. That's in fact what Ripple is trying to do with XRP. World taxation and one world money. They've worked for years behind the scenes preparing to realize that vision. They've literally rigged the laws of international finance. Everything is basically in place right now. And there's essentially no way to stop this from happening. There are some cryptos that are working with regulators and are working with banks. I agree. Ripple right. would be an example. Ripple like would be an example, right. Now this is a, and, and I, can, I can imagine in the next five years, instead of us doing sterling against the dollar or sterling against yen and doing these kinds of transactions, we'll do sterling versus Ripple. Now there is a fundamental issue. Where this is what the left hand side of the incumbents, this is something that they never wanted to see. They never wanted the market, the cryptocurrency market, digital assets to get to this point. What point am I talking about? I'm talking about that institutional players, the trillion dollar players, assets under management, the world financial institutions, the governments, central banks. When they get into the point to where they are adopting this technology, which they have been given the green light that they're going to do it. What the left hand side of the incumbents, what they did not want to see was that XRP was going to be the only digital asset in its ledger to build off of. You have no other choice. Judge Torres just blessed XRP as it not being a security. We're going to find out the designation exactly what XRP is going to be designated. Is it going to be a stable coin? Is it going to be a bridge currency? We know for sure that it's not a security. XRP is setting up at the moment to experience a Cambrian explosion, a flywheel effect. Everyone is coming in and going to be hoarding this asset. Without a doubt, there is no debate. XRP is the top choice. XRP is the only choice. XRP is the most dominant digital asset in this space. Once we get that one national bank, once we get that one central bank, once we get that one huge financial institution to give the green light and say that they're using XRP, we're going to get clarity that XRP is the next world reserve bridge currency. Absolutely, family, 100%. We're going to start off today's show with some absolute smoke. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Every time that you come on this channel, family, it's going to be bullish. 90% of the countries are developing and implementing central bank digital currencies as a way to increase financial inclusion and lower the cost and lower the risk of domestic and cross-border payment processes. Guess what platform that they're going to use? Guess what blockchain and what company that 90% of countries that are developing their CBDCs, they're developing it on the Ripple CBD platform. That's how bullish this is. It's a frictionless end-to-end solution for central banks, governments, and financial institutions to issue their own central bank digital currency. I'm going to read that again, family. You see, XRP is now the only choice for central banks, trillion dollars of assets under management, governments. We're talking about treasury. We're talking about military, home defense, trillion dollars under assets, and the biggest financial institutions to issue their own central bank digital currency. 
Leveraging the power of the same blockchain technology used on the XRP ledger, the enhanced platform will now allow users to holistically manage and customize the entire life cycle of a fiat-based central bank digital currency transactions and distribution. XRP and the XRP ledger is the only choice. This is institutional grade tech knowledge. This is not for retail. This is an agnostic exchange token. This is a system. This is protocol back end that we're going to use to continue to build out this digital asset space. Things are about to get explosive, family. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. XRP holders are about to experience generational wealth. Um, my immediate reaction is uh, I think there's some more education needed in the marketplace. I think. Um there's a lot of discussion around a CBC, what it is, what it isn't, you know, is it the government going to be spying on citizens, all this kind of thing. So I think there's a education required. At the end of the day, you know, I think the federal government, um, you know, trumps uh, state governments in, in this. But I think really, I don't think the citizens have anything to be concerned about. You know, CBDC is a digital representation of fiat currency. Uh, it's likely to get implemented in pretty much every country around the world it's coming there are going to be some great advantages to it great use cases that will uh, you know people will get benefit from so uh, i see news like that i think okay well this will probably uh, disappear when people get a bit smarter a bit more educated about what's really going to happen i'm just trying to get people to get more educated on exactly what they're hold for all of the xrp holders out there and to let people know how colossal that this moment in time in this brand new digital asset space is the 24 hour volume for xrp is about 3.1 billion XRP, which is 3.1 of the circulating supply. What that means is there is not enough XRP to go around. The price of XRP cannot be dirt cheap. When you have a deflationary asset that every time that you use it, it burns tokens, as well as the amount of demand that is going to be needed for central banks, governments, and financial institutions to use this agnostic exchange token for cross-border payments, domestic payments, business-to-business -business payments, micropayments, FX derivatives, and settlements. You have to understand exactly only one thing can happen. XRP unseats Bitcoin as the most traded asset demonstrating high confidence and high demand. This is the moment that we are in in digital asset space right now. XRP is coming for the number one spot. Oh yeah, let's not forget this when you're talking about bullish. You're talking about Ripple being the Amazon of crypto. You're talking about XRP being the heartbeat of this brand new financial system, this fourth industrial revolution that we're going in right now. We have Columbia's central bank partners with ripple to use their blockchain in use cases you see how big this is 90 percent of the countries are exploring with cbdc's and they're going to be on the ripple nets blockchain leveraging xrp how come it wasn't ethereum how come it was not bitcoin how come it wasn't another digital asset that you can think of? Why is it that XRP is now having a regulatory grip over this brand new asset class? See, because the incumbents tried to take out this blockchain. The incumbents tried to take out the Amazon of crypto and it failed tremendously and it turned around for all of the retail investors of XRP. We finally get a piece of that pie. You see, when you're talking about incumbents, and you're talking about this opportunity that we have. Retail investors, you don't realize how long that we have been excluded, gatekeeped out essentially from having a level playing field with investments inside of our ecosystem. If you're not an accredited investor, you're not even offered the same type of products or the same type of opportunities as the incumbent players have been having ever since this monopoly has started. This is what they fought so hard for. This is why the media FUD has went on for all of these years and continuing to go on about Ripple and XRP. But the fact remains is 
The only digital asset that can be used in America. The only digital assets that big banks are going to start using right now. The only digital asset that is in circulation, that has the green light on paper, that it is not a security, that ongoing sales on the secondary markets are not a security, the greatest digital asset ever created, XRP. The interest in private investments. A couple of data points. Wealth is held today 50-50 by institutions and individuals. However, investment in private assets today is 85% held by institutions. Individuals would like access to invest in these private assets for diversification and also because private investments have returned 5x public markets over the last 20 years. Based on our data, there's $8 trillion to $12 trillion in AUM positioned by private high net worth, ultra high net worth, and affluent uh, in, uh, uh, individuals to move into private investments of tokenized private assets. That eight to, tri- eight to twelve trillion dollars will be the mechanism by which the next level of development of this technology ecosystem is monetized. The deficiencies are addressed. New capabilities are introduced, and the evolution of the tech stack and the and the re-expression of the financial market infrastructure will be realized. You're talking about $20 trillion, $30 trillion of trapped liquidity, $33 trillion in debt from the United States. We need a relief in this brand new digital asset space. And we're getting that from the Amazon of crypto. We're getting that from XRP, the number one digital asset in crypto right now. You got the future verse, which uses artificial intelligence Metaverse and blockchain technologies raises 54 million from investors that includes Ripple Labs. You see, Brad Garlinghouse told us that Ripple had $1 billion of capital that they want to deploy inside of this brand new digital asset space to continue to build out its ecosystem. I mean, XRP is going to be everywhere, every single use case that there is, every bank inside of the United States are going to be using XRP, the XRP ledger, distributed ledger technology. Things are about to get so explosive. Some of us family, we're not going to exactly know what to do when you see your portfolio go up 5x, then 10x, then 50x, then 100x. This is what we are about to experience in this 2023 bull run, as this is the year that XRP comes for the number one spot. Buy and sell and make quick gains out of it. Does it hurt um, uh, to deal it? Uh, This question comes from the audience. Many people are using cryptos just to buy and sell and make quick gains out of it. Does it hurt the growth of cryptocurrencies, that usage for, for, for a quick buck? So, I mean, it's, it's kind of chicken and egg. You have to create a marketplace. And right now, we have about 150, 200 exchanges around the world that trade in XRP. Uh, a lot of it, as you say, is very shallow trading by individuals. And that is not the use case that we are pursuing. What we are pursuing is the use of XRP as a financial asset by sophisticated institutions as a bridging uh, mechanism. So, does this hurt or harm? Well, it creates a lot of noise. And, uh, you know, we certainly don't want that much noise, uh, but we're waiting. And for example, this last quarter, uh, the bulk of XRP sales were to institutional investors. And as this transitions away from retail to institutions, we'll start to use it for wholesale um, you know, financial usage. That's when the turning point will come. XRP is essentially not for retail. XRP is for institutional use and despite what's going on and everything that we have seen the unstoppable force of xrp and its continued adoption what we're seeing right now with the charts 77 percent 75 percent in one day this is gonna be nothing prepare yourselves ladies and gentlemen you want to talk about bullish you want to talk about going to the moon you want to talk about overnight wealth you're about to experience once in a lifetime. It's going to look like moving forward for XRP because we thought that after this Hinman documents were going to be revealed, maybe we would start to see some institutional utility, maybe some regulation, but none of that happened. I I don't have a great deal of thought behind it. What I, 
what I see obviously is that the XRP continues to march forward regardless of what's pushed up against mm-hmm. it. And I see more and more usability for the banking system. So as I've said in the past, and I'm not sure, maybe it's invalid to say this again, you can correct me, that I think it's here to stay. And I think it will be utilized. And I think it's the banker's vehicle of choice to do uh, settlement outside the SWIFT system. And when you think about that, this being the only digital asset that is going to be used in payments, you're talking about blockchain distributed ledgers. You're talking about moving as currency on the SWIFT blockchain, moving as currency on the ISO 20022 blockchain. The International Settlements and International Monetary Fund has already declared XRP as a stable coin. What you're looking at your screen right now, family, you're looking at the fractal overlaying what happened in 2017. The same thing right now is happening with the XRP chart in 2023. This is the year of the digital asset. This is the year of XRP. Don't be shocked when the price of XRP hits $20. Don't be shocked when the price of XRP hits $100. Don't be shocked when you never have to clock in and go to work again in your damn lives. Thanks for everyone tuning in to today's show. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and turn on those notifications. This is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor, but please let everyone know that the high vibe said that the bulls are getting ready to run out the damn gates. Yeah.